Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Elhamdülillahi Rabbil alemin. Ve salatu ve selamu ala seyyidina ve nebina Muhammedin ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ecma'in. Kale subhanahu ve ta'ala fi kitabihi l-kerim. Estaizu billah. Ya eyyuhel lezine amenu. Kutiba aleykum usiyamu kema kutiba ala lezine min kablikum la'allekum tettekun. Sadık Allah'ın azim. Fakala Resulullah sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem Es-savmu li ve ana aczi bihi Hadis Kutsi Dear brothers and sisters in Canada I am honored by the call of my dear brother Fawzi Khan to speak to you on the beginning of the Ramadan of 1442 Hijra time and 2021 by Milad. I'm speaking to you from the city of Sarajevo to greet you and to wish you all the best. As you know, today is Monday, the 29th of Shaban. With tonight's sunset comes the first day of the month of Ramadan in which for those who believe in the Almighty Allah and the last Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the ibadat of fasting is prescribed as it was prescribed for those before us. This is clearly said in the Quran. Ya yuhalladina amanu, which means, O oh, you who believe. So the address here is to those who believe in their heart and they speak by their tongue. La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. And then Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, Kutiba alaykum usiya. This kutiba means that it is fard. It is something prescribed as an obligation that those who say that they believe in God and the Prophet Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, they should know that the month of Ramadan is the month of fasting and which is not new because those prior to us or before us were also obligated to the ibadat of fasting. Why we are fasting? The Quran says very clearly so that you may protect yourself. These words of the Quran uh, is translated usually as a, to be a pious or to be worshipful to God. But the me real meaning of this verse of the Quran is the protection which came from the Arabic roots and there is a pro-Arabic proverb saying protection or prevention is better than uh, cure than going to doctor so the ibadat of, of fasting the reason for it is that you protect yourself but what is yourself? Is yourself your body or something else? Imam al Ghazali was telling us that we are not humans by our physical body. We are made humans or insan by our heart by our soul, 
by our heart, by our mind, so that we uh, may feel this connection with Almighty God. Now, what, what it means to have the connection with your sustainer, with your Lord, with your subhanahu wa ta'ala. We often hear from the ulama that Islam has the answer to every question that torments man. But we don't know how to find that promise. So we may rightly ask, where is the problem? Is it in the ulama who do not know how to offer us the, an answer or in ourselves because we have no desire to look for the answer in ourselves? Certainly in every man, there is a desire for meaning. That is, there is a will to find an answer to the question that bothers him or her and cure a cure for the disease that plagues him or, or her, especially for a disease that is on his, her soul or in his, her mind. Of the many diseases in the soul and in the mind is the disease of the loss of feeling that life has meaning. I just want you to concentrate on this word, the meaning. What is the meaning of our life? The month of Ramadan is prescribed to Muslims so that the soul rests from the pleasure of the body, a pleasure that kills a person's sense that life has meaning when bodily pleasure is no longer a pleasure but a nightmare for both body and soul. Psychotherapists have found a cure for such a disease in logo therapy, the search for meaning in a, a healthier life, the search for meaning for a, an, uh, a healthier life. Logotherapy was founded by Viktor Frankl, has proven effective in treating addiction, post-traumatic stress, depression, anxiety, and palliative care as a comprehensive health, psychological, social, and spiritual provision to provide care to patients with incurable diseases that significantly shorten life expectancy. The month of Ramadan, dear brothers and sisters, is the time and the ibadat of fasting is a way of individual and collective logotherapy in this time when people lose the sense that life has meaning with the COVID-19, which separates people from one another, which causes a big depression. By the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Ramadan will offer a sense of direction how to console your, your soul, your spirit, which may help you to sharpen your sense that life has meaning in Tawheed, that is, in the faith of one God who was not born who did not give birth to, to anyone and to whom nothing and no one is equal. 
with the announcement of an expectation that God will willingly will associate in a budget of fasting, I congratulate you on the best of the blessed Ramadan with a prayer to Allah, the merciful, to please us with ibadat of fasting and strengthen us in us the feeling that life has meaning in Tawheed as the source of his immeasurable mercy. The scent of Ramadan is in the air. Another opportunity for us to turn over a new leaf, to draw from the abundance of blessings that accompanies it. We each have our own special way of connecting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We accept us as we are. In our brokenness, he listens. He gives and forgives. Raise your hands or lower your head and sincerely call out to the most gentle, the most merciful, Ya Rabbal Alameen. So dear my brothers and sisters, Muslims all over the world of one billion and a half and more than that, are connected in the month of Ramadan more with their souls and minds and hearts than in any other month in, in the year. So use your sense of seeking your soul, of looking what is in your soul, in your spirit, in your mind. Because Ramadan is the blessing, is the blessed month, not only because of our ibadah, of our fasting, but because in the month of Ramadan, Almighty Allah has blessed Rahmatan lil alameen, the humanity with the Holy Quran, because the Holy Quran started being revealed to us as the last covenant after the old covenant of Tevrat and after the new covenant of Injil, we have now as a humanity, the last covenant with God, which means that our promise to God to be honest, to be truthful, to, to worship him alone and to declare that he is the one and he is merciful and he is, he is compassionate and he is one who is taking care of the earth and the heavens and he, he is not tired of keeping of keeping this universe working as it is in it in, in in its harmony as we see that the sun is rising on time on right time and on right place and the sun is setting on the right time on the right place. Only a small mistake in this correlation and this movement that we see in the cosmos would be catastrophic for us. You can see that the small and invisible enemy is winning the whole what the whole humanity. This invisible enemy is a warning to us. So we have to go back to ourselves and seek in ourselves the truth of who we are. And the way that we can find is to reflect 
in ourselves, but also to read the Quran with an attention and with the desire that we find in the Quran, the feeling that the life has meaning. So the month of Ramadan is rest for the soul. I hope and pray to Almighty God that each and every one of us in Canada and all over the world as you are in your homes and are not able to, do, to go to the mosques, as we are not able also in Bosnia to go to the mosque, but to stay in our home. So in this halwet, in this, in this spiritual isolation, we have the opportunity to become better with the message of Almighty God. So, my dear brothers and sisters, may I wish you the best of the month of Ramadan. May I pray for you, for your health, for your family, and for all the humanity, that God free us from this very dangerous, invisible enemy called COVID-19. So don't be in depression. Have a faith in God and hope in your salvation. So I will read you the dua that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu used to read in the time of depression or he advised us to read this dua, which says, Allahumma inna na'uzu bika min al-hammi wal-hazan wa na'uzu bika min al-ajzi wal-kasal wa na'uzu bika min al-bukhli wal-jubni wa na'uzu bika min ghalabati al-dayni wa qahri al-rijali which means, Almighty God, we take refuge in you from grief, from grief and from, from being sad. And we take refuge in you from our weaknesses and our being lazy we take refuge in you from treachery and from cowardice and we take refuge from a big loan and the violence of the violent people and we take refuge in you almighty god from depression. Amin. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Happy Mubarak Ramadan Sharif.